Hi, my name is John Walsh with The Logic Group, and in this video I'm going to demonstrate a three-board jumbo. Uh, with a three-board jumbo, we can very quickly and accurately trace a template that is up to 5 feet by 12 feet in size and save it as a DXF file. I have a cardboard template in here that I'm going to digitize. Uh, if I did not have the jumbo tracer, this pattern might take several hours to get into the computer. I'm going to show how I can do that in just a couple minutes. I'm going to digitize this thing with lines and arcs. I've got two straight lines at the top and the bottom, an arc on the two sides. I've got some inside holes I'm going to digitize with lines and arcs. I come in and, our st and I start our software and uh, I click the digitize button on the side and I'm going to tell it that I'm going to digitize this with lines and arcs. And then I click start. And then I take my pen stylus and I digitize points on it and I tell the software if I'm going to connect to those with the lines or arts. I've got a line starting, so I'm going to do that point right there. And I'm going to come over here and digitize this corner right here. And then on the computer screen, it'll show me that line that showed up. And now I'm going to tell the software that I'm going to switch to arc. So I'm going to click right up here at the top arc. I can use a touch screen or just a regular computer with a mouse. Now with an arc, I do it uh, three points. And it, and it connects an arc between those. So I do a point in the middle and a point at the end. And it connects an arc between those points. It looks almost like a straight line. It's a little bit, a bit of an arc. I switch back to lines. And then I come over and digitize this point over here for the end of that line. And then I tell it I'm going to do an arc for the top. And I switch back to arcs. And then I digitize the midpoint of the arc and the end point of that arc. I digitize the midpoint of the arc. I digitize the end point of the arc. And then I click Done on the software. It's going to ask me if I want to connect to the first and last point. And I'm going to say yes. So I click Done, connect to the first and last point, I say yes. So I've got my outside template. Now I've got those inside holes. Again, I'm going to do those with lines and arcs. So I click Start. And then I come in here. And I have, I'm going to start with a line here. So I'm going to go from a line there to there. And I have a line on the screen. And then I'm going to switch it to arcs. And then I come in here. And I digitize the midpoint of the arc and the end point of the arc. And see, I have an arc on the screen. I now have a little line. I switch to lines. I digitize a point at the end of that line. And then I come in and do the other arc. And I digitize at the midpoint of the arc and the end point of the arc. And then I go back and do a line. And then I digitize the end point of that line, right there. Then I switch back to arcs. And I digitize the midpoint of the arc, the end point of the arc. And I have a line, it's a little notch there. So I come in here to line, and I digitize the end point of that line. And then I've got one more arc, and then I'm done. So I come in, switch it back to arc. And I digitize the midpoint of the arc and the end point of the arc. And then I click done. And I have that inside hole to connect to the first last point. And I say yes. Okay, okay. And then I can also do the other one that I have. I do it exactly the same, lines and arcs. Do my line. And then I'm going to do an arc. I'll do this very fast here. Maybe I'll sing a song. Would you guys have to? I hope, I hope. No, just kidding. Back to line. And then back to arc. So, you know, by doing the lines and arcs, I get a very accurate drawing of, of what I've digitized. And it's so fast. Go back to line. Went up there, back to arc, and that point there, that point there, back to line, I'll click it with my finger, 
I'm going to do that last arc back to arc to digitize the midpoint and the end. And in about three minutes, I've digitized that whole pattern. I come in here, I now click done. And it connects the first last point of that inside hole. I click create file and I call this Jumbo 6 and then hit save and it saves it as a DXF file. So in just a couple of minutes, I was able to take this pattern that, that um, might take several hours with the CAD program. I got it into, into the computer for use with the CNC or CAD software. Um, again, this Jumbo Trace with three boards and do templates up to five feet by 12 feet. My name is John Walsh with Logic Group. If you have any questions about this product, please contact me. Thank you.